It has been four years since Maida Morales was taken from her home in Veracruz, Mexico. Today, she and her mentor, human rights activist, Rosy Orozco, are attending the Summit of Judges on Human Trafficking and Organized Crime that takes place at the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences in the Vatican. There is mention of the level of distrust among the victims towards an authority figure. This level of distrust is instilled because many times these people of authority are my clients. So how can I have faith or trust any authority figure, especially if they're buying my body? Unfortunately, Maida's story is not dissimilar to other victims of sex trafficking. Her captor was charming, nice, and seemed to have strong family values. But all that changed when he took her to live with him in Mexico City. There, she endured beatings, assaults, and harassment. She was forced to go into prostitution by the very man she thought cared for her. Rosie has empowered us so much that the reality is that very few organizations do this, which is to empower the victim, to give the victim everything back that was taken from them. The year 2012 proved to be a symbolic one for Maida. That was the year she escaped from her bleak reality and crossed paths with Rosie Orozco. Rosie is the president of the Commission United Against Human Trafficking. She was the driving force in overcoming strong resistance and winning passage of 2012's law to combat human trafficking throughout Mexico. La verdad es que fue un trabajo. The reality is that it was a wonderful job from all parties together. That is why the law is so strong. So today we have more sentences than all countries after the United States. Today, four years later, Maida Morales sees Rosie not just as a mentor, but as a colleague that stands beside her in the fight against human trafficking. Morales is going to graduate law school this December, as she hopes to use her skills in law as a tool to help, empower and encourage women going through what she went through. She is currently working for Mexico City Supreme Court and will soon be featured as one of Forbes magazine's most influential women.